magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat NCIP for the invitation to share my knowledge on the role of indigenous women in the preservation and transmission of uh, traditional knowledge. Ako po ay isang half-blaan, uh, galing lang London po lang bulok sa Cotabato, na naninirahan na ngayon dito sa Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Uh, I wanted to share po yung context ng uh, understanding our own identity, respecting cultural diversity, knowing and recognizing threats to cultural preservation, proper messaging in promotion initiatives, cultural education for younger generation, and social justice, diversity, and inclusion as the context ng presentation kung ito, which is uh, themed as advocate to educate. So why do we need to care? So many of the younger generations these days po ay uh, lost in our own identity. I am one of, of, of that proof because at some point, I did not know that my blouse that I was wearing is specific to that Boli Indigenous Peoples Group. And I have this uh, group photo in Lamlifo, Sarangani Province, back in 2005, taken by uh, Kokoi Section, wherein it represents the, the, the Indigenous Peoples Diversity of Sarangani Province, Blaan, Boli, and also Tagakaulo. But I was wearing a Boli blouse, and I am half Blaan. So in the Kafibla Anaman Empowerment Incorporated as part of uh, a specific group that uh, I am engaged with, we started with the Blaan Spelling Advocacy. So because uh, we know that uh, Blaan is our name, it also is our identity, but it's being misspelled all the time because so many people are using apostrophe after the B and they are uh, pronouncing it as Bilaan. Wala naman pong letra na tinanggal after the B para po lagyanin yun ng apostrophe. So there is no need for that. Blaan po talaga ang tawag namin sa aming sarili. So our big problem in that advocacy is because the national records bears the one with the apostrophe after B. Even yung aming dalawang malilikha ng bayan that was declared, uh, their documents and even their um, landmarks have B and apostrophe after it. And we hope that uh, that can be uh, uh, changed soon. So in 2017, nagkaroon ng... Um, uh, advocacy concert specific for raising awareness ng Blaan Spelling and I wanted to say thank you to this guy, Chris Omidduran Gangoso in General Santo City and Sarangari Province who really take the lead of engaging performers, Blaan performers to um, specifically uh, have this uh, advocacy of the Blaan Spelling and even designing this shirt. Very, very simple, but the message is there. The message is strong. And currently, for this year, nagkaroon po ng House Resolution uh, filed by uh, uh, Congresswoman Sherlyn Banyas Nograles. Um, so it is now in the House of Representatives for reading and for uh, for deliberation and things like that. And hopefully, it can also reach the NCIP soon. And the national record of spelling will be hopefully be changed. This is the late um, IPMR of General Santos City in 2015 where in the first Blaan Day was also like held and that we have to thank Mayor Ronel Rivera for being there and him. And this is the guest speaker of that day, our Cafe Blaan Empowerment in the President Andrea de Santos. So on behalf of the Cafe Blaan, maraming salamat po doon sa mga tumulong na para uh, maipa uh, advance yung yung Blaan Spelling Advocacy at mas maraming mga tao ang ma-educate. In our region, we have really seen the difference and we have seen so many people getting educated and knowing that we are Blaan. Wala pong apostrophe doon after the B, kaya hindi nyo po kami dapat tawagin na Bilaan. Bilaan is a very discriminatory reference po. So another big concern or threat to our culture is yung cultural ap appropriation or the, specifically the cultural exploitation. So yung Kafiblan Empowerment Inc., we are in partnership as well with the Class Katutubo, uh, wherein uh, itong topic na ito ay masyadong, um, uh, it has been presented many, many times over the past uh, two years at naging speaker din po ako ito. Maraming mga factors on cultural appropriation, especially exploitation. No, so uh, I'm gonna just go over with that one specifically doing sa textiles, um, now traditional textiles, now blaan and boli. These are blaan textiles. This is 
Boli distinctive textile. So there is, there is also a problem with that because so many people are not uh, wearing, are not using it the way, the proper way the indigenous peoples are using. This is how we use abla and tabi. This is that bolis and how they use that boli nalak. This photo was from Lake Cebu. So yung traditional textiles are our cultural identifiers. It is our right to speak up against things done to misrepresent, misuse, abuse, or our cultural identifiers. Kasi yun na nga po yung natira sa mga ancestors natin. So we have to fight for it the way, the way that we have to respect for our cultural integrity. So of course, we are thankful na merong IPRA uh, under, uh, under which we, the state is having a declaration for policies for the inclusion and protection and preservation and development of culture and traditions ng indigenous people. So that we are very, very thankful and hopefully marami pang local government units that will uh, take also the lead to doing it. So in values, respect to values uh, that I've learned from my old folks, yung respect, honesty, equality, courage. Simple na mga terms ito, pero minsan masyado silang mahirap gawin especially maraming mga trade-off that you will have to consider if uh, there is a conflict um, among these values, especially in the community level. But these are the values that I am also handing down to my kids as I learn from my old folks. So we value community engagement and especially collaboration and uh, institutions. And these are my two friends that I have collaborated over time na naging daan para maging nominated si Fuya Bing for her gamaba. Collaboration with Bo Ilim Payensi Buglas since 2019, bago pa siya naging commissioner. And this is an ongoing exhibition right now uh, with her loaning her um, uh, traditional attire uh, during her wedding. Dito po sa Atlanta Fern Bank Museum. This was mine, my collection from my uh, blonde folks that my son is very proud to, to be in this uh, exhibition. So promoting Philippine culture, I've been doing that. Um, since I got here and even with kids all over and then in their schools and in the communities that we are um, invited and for many events dito sa Atlanta, it's just a way of, for me of representation because there's not, there's, that, there's not much that they are seeing about Mindanao. So ako taga Mindanao, I'm a cultural advocate, I found it an opportunity to be uh, proactive and be active in the engagement for the Filipino community. Back it. Well, of course, it's because of my younger generations. Whatever I have learned from my late mom, uh, I wanted to transfer that knowledge, that values to my younger generation. And I know that as they're growing up, they really embrace their cultural uh, diversity and their identity, and they know who they are. They know some terms, they know their words, they know their basic greetings, and they are proud wherever they are that they are, you know, um, half Filipino, and part of them is also blonde. So these are some of, uh, they are going to be my, um, uh, re recipients for my uh, cultural materials and hopefully for the next generation, especially yung aking anak na babae. So we are uh, proudly embracing our cultural diversity. Uh, the blood and blood runs in us no matter uh, how small it that is and for the next generation. But my kids, I wanted them to know who they are as a Filipino American, as, a, as an American and with a Filipino American mom. And uh, they're not alone because there's so many kids like them who are of mixed race. This is pamangkin ko po ito, pero marunong magsalita ng Blaan. She grew up in the Blaan community. And we have a group we call Blaan Internationals. These are for missionaries, immigrants in different parts of the world and outside of the Philippines na nakapag-asawa ng, uh, ng hindi Pinoy at nagkaroon ng uh, younger generations. And then, but we are still in... in teaching them the values of uh, the, the blood indigenous peoples group. So today, as it is um, uh, uh, an international uh, indigenous peoples uh, celebration, I ko po ay uh, supporter ng isang uh, holiday para sa katutubong Pilipino na call ng Tuklas Katutubo. And um, I'm proudly sharing photos wherein I've worn um, some attires 
from different indigenous peoples group that I'm very, very much proud of that. And the values that I've learned from my old folks, the 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 kind of messaging on of, of our cultural identifiers and our identity that is going to be a continuous passion po so that I could share more sa aking next generations. So maraming salamat po sa NCIP sa pagkakataon na ito to be able to share how I'm able to uh, transfer yung knowledge and also pro help promote the Filipino culture and especially the indigenous people's culture and the Blaan of which I I came from uh, here in Atlanta, Georgia, USA and whenever I get invited. So maraming maraming salamat po. Bong salamat dikdu buwata kam do gam.